1a. Speaking a. Discuss What are the most popular foreign languages that people learn in your country and why? Most popular? Learned by many people. Foreign languages Foreign, no G. Foreign languages Languages that are not the first language, not the mother tongue, not Arabic. All these are different languages from all around the world. What is the most popular one? It's definitely English, right? In Saudi Arabia, English is the most popular foreign language. Because English is a world's language, if you learn English, you can communicate, you can talk to people from all around the world. What is the most common way, common way? used by many people to learn a foreign language well the most common way is through schools you go to school you learn english or institutions educational organizations that in most cases you pay money to join or self-study you can just use the internet b look at the pictures these two pictures and talk about the advantages, the positives, the good side, or the disadvantages, the negatives, the bad side, of each of the ways of learning a foreign language. You can use the words and phrases in the box. We will talk about the advantages and disadvantages of learning in a classroom. You learn English or a foreign language in a classroom with fellow students and a teacher and learning English at home. Self-study. There is only you. You can have books, internet access, computer. You use these things to learn English. First, there is the learning environment. Environment is everything around you in the place where you study. Presence of teacher. Having a teacher. Lively discussion. Lively, active, and energetic discussions. You can have conversations, active conversations. You contact with other students. You can go talk to them. You can write to them, call them. Pair work. When two students work together. Group work three, four, five students work together. You can ask questions. Peaceful atmosphere. Atmosphere is like environment. Everything around you in the place where you study. Peaceful, it doesn't make you worried. You can work at own speed. You can go fast if you want. You can go slow if you want. Convenient. It's useful for you. It can make you more efficient. Immediate feedback. Immediate, very quick. Feedback, response. You say something and someone will reply. Motivation, reasons why you should learn. Interaction. You can have someone to talk to. You can have someone to work with. Okay, now let's talk about the disadvantages and advantages. And before we do that, remember, when you are asked to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of something, express your opinion, say what you think. And remember to give reasons. Why is this your opinion? Why do you think this is better? Why do you think this is good? No answer is right or wrong. Your opinion can never be right or wrong. It is your opinion, but it should be justified. You should give reasons why you think this way. Sometimes you can even give examples. Why is this better? Why is this an advantage? Now let's talk about the advantages of studying in a classroom. It's better for pair or group work. The students have the opportunity, they have the chance to interact with their fellow classmates, their partners, the students in the same classroom, enjoy lively discussions and practice oral skills, practice speaking. You can speak. When you are alone, 
there is nobody to speak to. Contact with other students increase his motivation. You know, when you have partners, that will make you motivated. You want to continue, you want to learn. When you are alone, maybe you will quit, maybe you will stop. The presence of a teacher is of great importance because the students can ask questions and there is immediate feedback, immediate answer sometimes. The advantages of self-study. Self-study is good for people who need to learn fast. You can skip the things you already know. Students can learn and study in a peaceful atmosphere, nothing to worry about, and work at their own speed. More convenient to organize studying time without the need for being in a classroom at a specific time. When you are in a classroom, you have to come at 7 in the morning. When you are at home, you can work any time you like. C. Discuss. How do you learn best? In a classroom or on your own? With a teacher in a classroom or studying on your own? Personally, I prefer this. I'm not saying that, okay, this is the better way. No. I'm saying that everybody is different. Some people, when they are on their own, when they are at home, they just feel bored and they quit. They don't keep learning. They need to have partners, teachers. For me, it is more convenient as I can choose any time of the day to learn. I can skip the things I already know and focus more on the new things. What would you change about the way you are learning English if you could? Now, I'll assume that you are a student in a classroom and it would be great if you could do more pair work and group work activities because it's really fun to work with partners. And I think there should be fewer students in the classroom. You know, when you have 40 students in one classroom, Teacher's attention will be divided among this huge number. But when you have only 20 students, the teacher can give you more attention, more opportunities to take part in the class. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.